this is where we start the patient journey. Thank you, Francesca. So this is our Vizium machine, and am I right in thinking this is the first piece of technology that you invested in for the entire clinic? Absolutely, Francesca. So when it came to investing in what I wanted to bring into the clinic, it wasn't just about the technologies or the treatment. That's a given. I'm going to choose the best quality treatments and products and topicals to bring into the clinic to suit the requirements. But how can we literally see and measure and track and celebrate our results? We need to have evidence and evidence for us so that we can show you and show the patient what your before and after looks like. And you can also see below the surface of the skin. And I think this is really fascinating for the modern consumer. You know, we can look in the mirror and we can see what our skin is presenting with on the daily and, and we can enhance it however we want. But actually what's really powerful about the Vizio is it's taking that deep dive, that investigative sort of glance, that snapshot into what's going on at a cellular level. So, and you can sort of go into this in more detail, but it's picking up on lots of things, isn't it? Underlying redness, pigmentation. What else is it sort of measuring for us that we need to know about? So this is state-of-the-art digital imaging, Francesca, and what it's really looking at is eight key areas taken by a Canfield system. So these are imaging systems using AI technology from the United States. And if you come closer, you can actually see this eight key areas of concern that it looks like, a general look at your skin and your face. It also then looks at lines, textural change, wrinkles as they such. And then we go two millimeters underneath the skin subsurface and we can look at things like superficial pigmentation that we would pick up if we were to just spend half a day out in the sunshine or maybe things that we've caught on holiday over the last two to three years. We can then dive deeper under the skin and look at deep pigmentation that we might have picked up in our childhood, our teens, our twenties, that sneaky gap year that we had in New Zealand, those sort of things. And those cellular changes come with us with time and present to us in our 40s and our 50s because that's when the skin starts changing and it starts thinning. And many of us actually have a degree of inflammation in the skin and that means redness. Re inflammation shouldn't be regarded as only a negative thing because we need a degree of inflammation to heal. So an acute inflammatory response is actually beneficial mm -hmm. because that's where we get collagen responses, healing responses, the degree of microcirculation change. But it's the chronic evolution of that that produces a problem. So lifestyle changes such as cigarette smoking, alcohol consumption, chronic use of medications, illness, stress and sedentariness being a, probably a very strong killer of skin at the moment. And we can see all these as inflammation under the skin too. And then finally, we know about the bacteria levels, microbiome. We know so much about the gut bacteria. We now know about the skin flora as well. So we can identify all of these that Banu is showing now underneath the skin.